being an officer is about looking after the men and women under your command. It's partly pastoral, partly leadership, partly management. It's everything you do, so it's the way you hold yourself in a day-to-day -day conversation. It's looking after your troops and making sure that everything you do is about making their lives better. There'll be times where you'll be tested and challenged mentally and physically and you need to be able to overcome those and at the same time make sure that you know, you're know you remaining professional in front of your soldiers um, and then we'll go from there. A Rimi officer has a lot of responsibility. Firstly, you tend to have quite a large group of soldiers underneath you. But initially we start out as a platoon commander. As a platoon commander, I'm responsible for up to about 30 soldiers. These all have different and specific trades. I've got armourers, I've got recovery mechanics, vehicle mechanics, I've got stores people as well. So my job is to make sure that all my guys, that they've got the right qualifications to do their job and that their whole lives, their welfare, their personal lives are all in order. As you progress um, through the ranks up to senior captain, you will be in charge of an LAD, which is a subunit attached to an infantry unit, and you're responsible for all their equipment, basically. And that's really the highlight of the job. That's where all RIMI officers aspire to get to. Education in the Corps uh, as an officer is very important. All our officers have to be technical graduates or have the educational background to gain a technical degree that's accredited by the engineering institutes. After that, our careers essentially mapped out to certain milestones in the engineering field. You become incorporated engineer first of all, in order to take over our light aid detachment command. Then after your light aid detachment, you can then apply for your chartered engineer status. My chartership, I believe, will hugely help me in my future roles, wherever it may be, either military or civilian. It's so rewarding and there are so many opportunities. Initially as an officer you start within land but you've got that option to go into aviation. There's so much out there you just can be really proactive and, and grab every opportunity uh, as it's presented. The reason I wanted to join the RIMI was because of the people. And it wasn't just the people I was working with, my peers, it was also the people I was working for and the soldiers I had under my command. Absolutely superb at every, every level. You've got a range of different people, we have good fun and it's nice to unwind after a busy day at work. As a young officer, uh, the mess is quite important. It is effectively your home. All your friends and your work colleagues live there as well, so as you can imagine, it is quite a social environment. I feel very proud. Having the opportunity to lead soldiers is something that I find immensely fulfilling. It brings with it a lot of challenges, but it's also very rewarding. To have this level of command at this stage of my career, it's something that I've, I've really kind of embraced and really enjoyed. I've had a lot of jobs in a lot of different places, and every job I do seems to be the best one I've done. So it's getting better and better as I go through.